It's considered the most destructive species to invade American waters. Quagga and zebra mussels are tiny, but these invasive hitchhikers pose a huge threat to the economy and environment. To date, biologists have found evidence of invasive mussels in three Utah waters, Sand Hollow Reservoir, Electric Lake, and Red Fleet Reservoir. It's very severe issues with it, and people are not familiar with the quagga mussel if they don't own a boat, so they just don't think anything of it. Even boat owners that do own boats, they don't think anything of it. Since March of 2015, Sand Hollow has been taken off that list and is now quagga free. Nonetheless, boaters from other areas are required to have their boats washed using 140 degree water and dried off before launching. That's because the mussels attach to the underside of boats, on propellers and equipment and can live for about 30 days. But once Sand Hollow has it, it's, it's just going to take off and the southern region will have quagga and we won't be able to get rid of it. Once we have it, we won't be able to get rid of it. Mussels reproduce very quickly. An adult female mussel can produce up to a million eggs each year. Once established in lakes or fisheries, destructive colonies encrust almost any underwater surface. They have a nasty stench and razor-sharp shells that will infect beaches and shorelines. They also destroy fisheries by consuming critical plant life. It can cost millions of dollars to control mussels once they've infested an area. That's why it's so important for people to be educated about the dangers of this invasive species. It's important because they become aware with what's going on with state parks, what's going on in our lakes, what's going on in our, in our land, and they need to be informed about it. Park officials routinely take water samples and inspect boats in an effort to keep the waters in Utah clean. But it's up to boaters to do their part as well. In Washington County, Melissa Anderson, KCSG News.